I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am having a wonderful day. I'm going to have a wonderful day. I'm going to be in bed so grateful for my wonderful day tonight. Mm, that feels good. Anyways, today I was thinking about talking about detoxing, I guess. Lately, I have been detoxing my body mostly. I did a little juice cleanse, but I also like to detox my mind, kind of. Well, more like the music and the TV that I watch. I don't really watch TV, but like if I will turn on the TV, it'll be like a TED Talk or a motivational thing on YouTube. And if I am listening to something, you know, I really do love my rap music. I really do love, um, you know, sad music sometimes. I don't know. I, I love all, all music, but I try to stay more towards more uplifting music when I'm detoxing. Um, and then also I just try to spend a lot more time journaling and like connecting with myself trying to journal things that I need to let go of um I'm a I'm queen meditation um you know I try journaling um fears that I need to let go of fears that are blocking me you know we don't just detox to put ourselves through torture, we detox to come out stronger on the other side. Um, you know, we have all these toxins in our body that are holding us back. And it's not just, you know, the food that we eat, but they're like the emotional blockages that we have, like trauma that we're holding on to. And if you can imagine, like we have so much room. And if we are holding on to a whole bunch of crap. There is not enough room for any good things to come in. And I hate to say that there's like only so much room, like we aren't able to receive abundance amount of love, but I'm just, for the metaphor, you know, if we're holding on to all of this negative bullshit, it's going to block the good. And same with the good things. If we're holding on to a whole bunch of good things, it's going to be hard, or past good things, it's going to be hard for us to receive new good things. We need to be able to flow, flow with life, be able to grab on and let go. And sometimes we have a hard time letting go, and that's when we need to detox. Um, you know, detox our bodies, detox our environments, detox, our minds, our souls, all of it. Um, I don't know if we really need to detox your soul, but just get back connected to it. Detox all the bullshit out that's kept you away from it. You know, um, there are toxic people in our lives that start to bring us into toxic cycles. And sometimes if we can cut those people out, we can get back to ourselves. And that is a big struggle because a lot of us are on this people-pleasing track. Sometimes the toxic person is our parents. Sometimes the toxic person is a sibling or one of our best friends and we're just like, how am I gonna cut them out? Well, with love, distance yourself. You don't need to be around them. You don't need to share everything with them. I know that's tough. Um, How much do you love yourself? You know, hopefully they'll catch on and start to follow the path of love with you, but you know, you don't need toxic people in your life in order to heal yourself. So heal yourself first and then, you know, we can take care of them second. Um, also, it's really shitty to think that maybe you might be the toxic person in your life. And you might need to address that. Are you an asshole? Why? Figure that out. Is it because you're holding on to trauma? Because people have hurt you in the past? Are you a tainted person? You know, are you repeating the past story? Or are you going to be a creator of your future? 
You know, do you need to let go of some shit? Some habits? Um, you know, one thing that I know is every time I do a junk food binge, I want to chill and nap and hang out. I get the itis, you know. Um, and it's hard for me to be productive. I don't want to go to yoga. I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to do my little booty exercises. I want to chill, smoke, watch TV. And I know it's because I allowed myself to like binge on junk food. I think um, one of the hardest things I try to do is detox food. You know, when I do do these like juice cleanses or whatever, everything bad is the first thing I want. I want everything bad. Everything, and if I can make it through that, oh, I'm like, oh, I can do anything. I can do anything if I can be stronger than a craving. Mm, I could guess. And then once I like make it past that, and I'm on to like my healthy eating again, I have so much energy. I'm productive. I can do anything. And it's because I've let go of all the shit that was holding me down, holding me back. And that's just an example with food. It's like same with people. It's really hard to let go of the people in our lives that say they love us, that are the haters. But once we let go of them, oh, it's really easy to soar. It's really easy to do your thing. Once you say, I don't give a fuck what you think, and just continue to do you, ooh, that's awesome. Sometimes you just got to purge your feelings. Let it all out so you can get back to being able to receive and be able to be picky on what you allow in. Um, anyways, have you thought of detoxing lately? Where are the toxic issues in your life? I know we all have them and it's important to address them. Anyways, I have, um, well, I've been eating healthy. I juiced for a little while. I um, have been really taking care of my skin, and it made doing my makeup today really fun. It just was like the perfect canvas. And sometimes I think it's the same, or that's like an also a good metaphor for detoxing. Sometimes you got to address your shit, let it go, and then you got something to work with. Anyways, I have to run off to work. Um, the rodeo's in town. I hope we can make tons of money tonight. I hope they love a little redhead. Anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful night. Oh, did I get my little southern little twang in? I hope you all have a wonderful night. All right. Um, I think that's the extent of that, but mwah! Ta-ta for now.